What's up everybody, Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in with another one on this Memorial Day. I gotta go pick up my nephew. He wanna he wanna work. He called me the other day. Now I had called him, made sure he made it home because he's down here for the summer. Uh I think he's gonna stay. I don't know. He said, hey, uh He said, Uncle Mike, you got you got yards to cut them off? I said, man, I cut every day, you know. Oh well I ain't doing that. You know, if uh I wanna work. I said, alright, that's cool. I said, all right, uh, what kind of work you used to doing? Because I know he worked at McDonald's. But on uh, on some occasions, he go work with his uncle, do roofing, do roofing on houses uh, on his daddy's side. I'm his mama's brother, but he go on with his other uncle and go uh, do roofing. Well, I get paid by the day. I asked him, I said, how much you getting paid? Well, I get paid by the day. I said, all right, how much you get paid by the day? 200? I said, all right, he getting 200 a day. So how many hours you was working? Uh, no, first when I asked him, I said, how much you want to make an hour? You know what I'm saying? He was like, well, uh, well, I work with my uncle, man. I get paid by the day. I said, how much you get paid by the day? He said, 200. I said, what hours y'all was working? He was like, man, we start at 6, and uh, it'd be like 3 o'clock. I said, 9 hours. I said, so 10 hours, you was making $200. Yeah. I said, you would get $20 an hour then. Yeah, I guess so. I said, look, man. What McDonald's pay you? Because you work at McDonald's. What McDonald's pay you? A uh, nine? McDonald's ain't paying him nine. I don't know no McDonald's paying nine. McDonald's paying self 25 to eight. Matter of fact, they might be paying nine nine now because of the pandemic. Get a McDonald's by my house paying 10. I said, all right. Now, I know what the, uh, like, I, you got one big company in town, uh, and I know what they pay all they weed to the man. They pay their weed to the man starting out at 11 or whatever. All right. So I said, man, give me a number, man. I said, matter of fact, go ask your mama how much you worth an hour. She made you. She was like, well, I don't know whatever you want to pay him. I said, man, what you want to make an hour? Uh, 11. No, 12. 13. I said, man, give me a number. 12, 12, 12. We'll do 12. I said, all right, we'll do 12 and see how you work out. Now, I already know he don't he don't know much. You think cut grass is simple. But when you get, when you start weed eating, you got to blend that weed eater in with the yard as as you you know what I'm saying. When you cut the yard, you got to blend that weed eater in. What I'm gonna probably end up doing today? I'm not trying to be out here all day. I'm gonna probably throw them on that mower for the first about seven yards. And them last three, grab that trimmer. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go all the way up with it. But uh, on another tip, like I say, it is Memorial Day. People got barbecues planned, events planned. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But here's what I just don't understand. And I never understood this my whole life growing up. I never understood it. <clears throat> like, all right, Memorial Day, everybody got stuff planned. Everybody going somewhere. They got the grills out. Everybody cooking, get together, family get together, whoop the whoop. All right. I never, I never tell anybody. I never tell anybody. Man, why y'all having a get together? Why y'all hanging out? Why y'all don't go get that? Why y'all don't go get on the grind and make some money or make something happen? All right. But everybody seemed to want to tell me, man, you work too much. Man, you can't do that tomorrow instead of doing that today. You don't want to hang out with your friends and family. You need to stop all that working, man. Ain't that much money in the world. Money ain't important. Your family important. Blah, 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 blah. Look, man. Look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what I've been saying since I was 15. My first job was at the car wash when I was 15, and so when I got my first paycheck at the car wash, classic chances, my first paycheck was $200. I, I said, man, I said the more I work, the more I make. I left there, started working at Taco Bell. When I turned 16, I started working at Taco Bell. I was bringing home in high school $500 every two weeks. Now, a kid that ain't got no bills in high school, I was stacking that money. 500 in two weeks. I said, man, the more, so, the, so you mean to tell me the more I work, the more I can get? Man, I lived in Taco Bell. You ask anybody I grew up with, I lived in that place. The only time I didn't go to Taco Bell was on Sundays because I had church and Wednesdays. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm in there making tacos. So when I got older, it just got on a different level, a different scale. I said, man, the more I work, I could just turn up and get it. So now, now I'm an adult. I don't understand. Y'all, look, I'm 33. I've been screaming this since I was 15. Y'all might well just, just waste your breath. 
Don't tell me, hey man, we doing this, you come through. When I'm finished, I'll come through whenever I get finished. But I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing to satisfy you that I'm here. The party will go on without me. I am not needed at the party. The party, the party will go on without me, trust me. So I never said nothing about people having get-togethers and you know that's cool if that's what they want to do. But if I don't want to do it, then I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing against nobody. I just want to go get on the grind and turn up. Why? Because I love what I do. And it's, I promise it's not about the money. It's not about the money. Because I don't need the money I'm going to make today. I don't need it. And look, this is not a shot at nobody. It just I don't. It just bothers people that I just choose to grind. Because I'm going to be honest. This is, how I, this is how I see stuff. And maybe I'm wrong for this. But if I am, oh well. Like, all right, case in point, I was talking to my older sister, right? She just went on a trip to Miami, four, five, day trip. She want to relax, you know what I'm saying? But in my mind, how can I sit back, kick my feet up for a week, take a trip when I haven't accomplished nothing? I ain't accomplished nothing. How am I going to go, go on vacation? I ain't accomplished nothing, man. I haven't, I haven't accomplished nothing. Not where I want to be. When I hit, look, when I hit small personal goals, I celebrate I celebrate with my family. We go do something. But I only do that when I hit small personal goals. You know what I'm saying? Like case in point, man, it's all right. I made the quote I want to make for the month. I never made this much money in the month. Boom, we going out. Me and my wife and kids, we going out. That's how I celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I finally, I, I finally got my uh mower always wanted. Boom, we going out. We gonna celebrate. Oh man, I, I never cut 15 yards in a day. I, I done it in one day solo. We going out. That's how I celebrate. Now, when I take that week, when I take that four, five day vacation to put my feet up, I'm going to accomplish what I want to accomplish. I told you, my mission this year is December to have that dump truck. I don't care if it's cash or finance. December, before Christmas, I want to have that dump truck. So I'm not going to stop until I get there. But then when I get there, oh, we're going to celebrate. We're going to have a good time and chill. And then I'm going to get on the grind again because I want another F-250. So I'm going to grind it out again. I know life ain't all about working. I never said that. But if you can't chase and pursue your goals and dreams that you want to accomplish, then what's the point? I can't sit here and put my feet up if I ain't accomplished nothing. So if I haven't accomplished that, so I'm going to get on the grind. So uh, I don't care how nobody feel about it. Like, man, I'm going to be honest. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't. Man, look, this is me. I've been like this all 15. You know what I'm saying? I go when I want to go, but if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do that. So it is what it is. Y'all have, have a Memorial Day. Don't eat too much uh, barbecue, whatever it is y'all eat. But I'm about to go get on this grind. I should be through about one or two. And then I got time to go to the barbecue if I feel like it. But I got to go to my full-time job tonight, so I'm probably going to put my feet up. Catch y'all on the next one.